Ciao YouTube, I'm Venom and Duke, and today I bring you an Austria vs Prussia commentary video. I'm a commander of the Austrians, and my opponent is in command of Prussia, and I believe that we are anticipating a war which <laughs> should uh, start 50 years after the <laughs> period covered by this game, because Austria and Prussia had a little war <laughs> uh, around uh, 1876, if I'm right. In any case, my army is composed by 7 companies of Hungarian Fusiliers, here we are. Two batteries of seven pounders, obviously, with double experience. Five companies of Renzers. My general staff, which is here. And four squadrons of Hungarian Hussars, which are my favorite cab, because they're great. By my opponent, he got a hell of uh, lots of plane infantry. He got one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9 companies of musketeers. He got this um, battery of experimental officers. Or he had <laughs> this battery of experimental officers. He has uh, one battery of invisible cannons because he had some cannons right here. And yeah, you saw them firing. <laughs> For some reason, they became hidden. And they keep firing while hidden. That's great. <laughs> nice glitch. In any case, he also has this squadron of Gracie, these squadrons of Lancers, and this other cab is this squadron of Uzars. Oh, and he also has the general staff. And, uh, well, I didn't play Austria in a quite long time since the latest patch of uh, weakened Hungarian Fusiliers and the like. But it's still my favorite faction, <laughs> if only because I love white uniforms. So, I'm gonna give it a try. We are still in the middle of the artillery fight. I am aiming at his drone. I cut out uh, lots of uh, footage about moving and more artillery fight. Oh, and these cannons uh, just popped back. These are 12 pounders. Very long range. They dealt me some damage in the first phase of battle, but uh, they are very inaccurate, because Prussian artillery is not the best. Prussia is quite good at light infantry, yeah, it has decent light infantry, horrible cap and horrible artillery. As you can see, I move forward and he has um, Schützen popped up. He has one, two, three, four companies of them. They are very good riflemen but they are quite expensive. As you can see my battle line is way longer than his because I have lots of, uh, lots of troops. I also have this company of Fusiliers. I kept it in reserve because uh, uh, I wanted to uh, to add somebody who can form square behind my um, my Grenzers. I put all of my line infantry besides this company on my flanks just around my opponent but that left my uh, my skirmish is quite vulnerable, and I managed to route his general by the way. So he's moving his musketeers back because he was getting shot by my two companies of fusiliers. He's firing canister shots, but I believe I'm slightly out of range. <laughs> oh, I killed some of your men. Sorry, man. As you can see, this is shooting open fire first because we have longer range. My morale starts to drop, and when I saw this, I ordered my general to move forward because I needed to boost morale. Luckily, I have more men with a musket to participate in the fight, and so even if um, Austrian troops are not quite uh, high quality, I can still say my words and. He's moving his cab and he wants to engage my um, my light infantry. I noticed this even with a, even if I'm a bit late. And so I'm gonna order my man to pull back and this company to form a square. He already likes the charge, so I order this man as well to pull back and this man to form a square. But unfortunately he will destroy my my company. However, he is in the um, crossfire of my squares, and I believe he also lost some men to his own canister shots. 
So these two companies of care run away. He also loses uh, his Uzars and pretty much everything yet on his right flank due to my uh, concentrated fire. I have four companies of Hungarian Fusiliers here. His morale is low everywhere because he lost his general. I replace air position, sorry, my my surviving companies of Grenzers. And I'm, I will order my men to form out of square. I already ordered these two, these two units. Now I am rushing in with my my Uzars. I will get his cannons. Well, here I am moving. But his men just run away. But well, Mozart did not um, didn't play a great part in this battle. But they're really good cat. They have the best Mozart in the game. Even if I am shooting them with my own man, yes. That's bad. Uh, his cap is Musketeer in the square. So they're not participating in the main fight. And pretty much everything he has is just running away. I was already gonna run pretty soon. Yeah, I'm surrounding him. Losing his general uh, right before the firefight really destroyed his hopes to win. He, his morale was just too low. His carabiner is recovered, uh, sorry, uh, his carabiner is recovered, but I sent my Hungarian uh, Uzars to take care of them. He charges in with his surviving units of musketeers, but, uh, but I charge in with my own musketeers. And being Hungarian, they are very good in a medic. And that's the last fight on the battlefield because everybody else, the Austrians, are masters of the battlefield and now the last Russian unit runs away so in the battle, you should see the result screen in a few seconds here it is this was a battle with quite few losses in fact because most of the Prussians just run away and uh, my opponent was Iron good game to him and thank you for watching, ciao ragazzi